So does that mean I get the chance now? Welcome back to Kaiko Sound. Um, this is actually our last morning of our four day trip. And uh, in the past three days, we've been focusing on catching halibut and lingcod because we don't really get um, those two species back home. So that's kind of um, the two species we want to take advantage of when we, whenever we're out here. So salmon have kind of been forgotten uh, in the last several days. Uh, we did try for Chinook salmon a little bit um, after we fish for halibut and lingcod but uh, fishing has been pretty challenging. This morning we got three hours of fishing left um, before we head home, sadly. So we're hoping to pick up a few Chinook salmon by trolling just outside the, um, the bay from the lodge here. Um, supposed to be one of the better, better um, salmon fishing ground in the area. So fingers crossed, we're hoping to get into some nice Chinook salmon for you guys. Stay tuned. Morning. Morning. So you know I'm playing camera woman, right? Why? Because... To get allow you to get one? Oh yeah, because I already got one on the first evening. So, pressure's on for me to get one. Well, I lost one yesterday. Um, and for the first day, you lost one on a squib. Why didn't you hook it? Oh, I hit a chance. And on each of the rods, we have hoochies, right? Red flashers and hoochies. Hoochie looks like a squid because the squid have really congregated here. There is no shortage of squid. Top of the morning. Kevin's got one here. Good old Kevin. boys and girls right in line up with our gear Rod I bet you're gonna get one we're at 46 feet Rod oh another one on bottom okay get let's get on that radio and ask him what's his uh, setup Good job, Derek. That's a nice one. Looks heavy. When they hold it down in the water like that for a bit before lifting. So see all this around us too because it's a, I guess it's a high abundance of squid where we're fishing at right now and they're just feeding heavily on them. There's one right behind us.
say even a blind squirrel gets in that way every once in a while. Is Rod the blind squirrel? Huh? Or are you? I am. <laughs> Good job, Rod. No pressure. No pressure. It's a tie rod. <laughs> what is it? Like, what do they say? Pull down or just keep swimming or oh, when they're swimming down in the net? Still there, right? Keep up. At the mono at the tip of your rod. Yeah. Dave, you look ecstatic. I this is my happy <laughs> You got Dave smiling, Rod. We're cheering for you. Always get the net ready. He should be pretty easy to get if you get him to go. Yeah. Throw a meter. He's just so tired. Yeah. Okay, flash is coming out of the water. Yeah. There you go. That first fish is always kind of always nervous about it. Kind of don't want to lose it, right? Yeah, it wasn't. Put out much. a put out a really good fight. I thought it was bigger than that, actually. But, yeah. You can't tell how big a fish is and how far it runs. No, that's no, sure, it's right? uh, that's definitely the case. I don't know. I'm, I'm just weak. <laughs> no, it fought. Look how yeah. much backing it went into. I know. All it the, went down to like break. it went 200 feet out, and uh, yeah, it's sure. awesome. Thanks. Football. Bloody football. There you go. Nice. Kaika sound. Schnook salmon. Beauty fish.
Does that mean I get the chance now? Oh, for goodness sakes. I fudged up. That's probably like my only chance. Yeah, because I'm next. No. Talk about oh, waking me one. up. No! You're too tight. Am I too tight? Just like your fish rod. Big run at the start, and then hopefully comes in easy from there. Still a ways away. I haven't reached my mono yet. <laughs> Did you lose that one too? I almost had a double. That would have been a spectacular ending. This side? Yeah. Nice, nice adipose spin on it. Reel up more? Yeah, let's get Oh! See? Oh! Oh, yes! Yep. Oh my gosh, it's so wide. Super short but wide. Okay, do you mean to lift up the reel or the rod? If I'm over here. Oh, 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 oh. Nice one. That's a beauty. Yeah. Woo. That was both the way, eh? That's frick, it's a football. Look how wide it is. <laughs> Well, I can't tell you exactly how big this fish is. Um, I don't want to under guess or over guess. So what I'll do is we'll wait till we're back at the dock and then we'll properly put it on the scale to get the exact measurement with the exact weight, sorry. Uh, quality fish nonetheless, despite 
the, the actual weight. Uh, nice finisher for me here at Cayucan on our last day, pretty much last hour of fishing. We have been out here for a few hours trolling just after six and you really got to pay attention. When we got here, no weeds around. But as the, the tides are changing, we noticed that weeds were moving from inshore and coming out uh, and they were actually wrapping themselves around the hoochies. So it was when Dave had checked both of the rods, each one had the tiniest piece of kelp on it. But look how fast and big of a difference it made. As soon as he took it off, put it back down, this rod went off and the one behind me did too. Right on the bottom. Come on now, come on, it's 15. Oh, I, thought, I read it wrong, sorry. I thought, for some reason I saw it, thought it was 10. No. I saw it quick, I was like, oh my gosh, that's hilarious. 15 pounds. That's not bad, okay, so you, so you said 18. I said 18, so I kind of overestimated a little bit. But blood came out, so it was probably right. like 16. Right. 20 on the nose. Dave was right. Dave was right. 20. Did he say 20? He yeah. said 20, yeah. So yeah, like 21. Yeah. Maybe like 20 and a half. Yeah. With blood. 